about nine years ago, I began to give voice to a, a lifelong frustration of mine. And the frustration was that I could not answer the question, what do Quakers believe? I would always answer that question somewhat defensively. I would say, it's kind of hard to know what Quakers believe, but let me tell you what I believe. Or I would say, um, well, it's hard to know what Quakers believe today, but let me tell you what Quakers believed at the beginning. <laughs> or I would say what I thought Quakers believed, and I would hope that no one else was listening because I did not want to be overcalled. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I had all of those experiences as a lifelong Quaker, and I said, this is for the birds, you know. We can do, we can do better than this. My name is Arthur Larrabee. I am a member of Central Philadelphia Monthly Meeting. I live near Westchester, uh, Pennsylvania, um, uh, very close to West Town School. My work in the world is the work of teaching and consulting about Quaker decision making. In attempting to name what I believe are core principles or core beliefs of the Religious Society of Friends as understood by unprogrammed Quakers, is um, I'm, I'm hoping that we, um, we would move in the direction of strengthening, strengthening our faith practice and strengthening our faith practice with each other and, and, and be more clear and affirming of what we're able to say to the world, what we're able to carry out into the world. There is a living, dynamic, spiritual presence at work in the world which is both within us and outside of us. Quakers use many names to describe this spiritual presence. Among the names we use are God and Spirit and the light, the inward light, the inner light, um, Christ, truth, love. There is that of God in everyone. This statement of belief is similar to the first statement. And uh, Quakers will talk about there being that of God in everyone, and it is a belief that the Creator has endowed each person with a measure of the divine essence. And that as a consequence, all of life is sacred and interconnected. Each person is capable of the direct and unmediated experience of God. Our belief leads us into a form of worship that does not rely on clergy or liturgy or creed. Rather, we come together in the silence. Um, we sometimes refer to our worship as waiting worship, waiting, uh, waiting um, to, li to hear, listen for the still small voice within and listening for that of God, the still small voice speaking to us. Our understanding and experience of God is nurtured and enlarged in community. When we come together in community, each of us brings our own manifestation of the divine energy. And uh, when we come together in community, um, we experience and embrace our diversity, we experience a much larger understanding and vision of, of, of God. The Bible is an important spiritual resource, and the life and teachings of Jesus are relevant for us today. For many of us, the Bible is an inspired record of uh, humankind's interaction with God through the ages. Quakers find that um, the, the, the truth and the teachings found in the Bible are um, an inspiration for daily living and also an inspiration for our worship together. The revelation of God's truth is continuing and ongoing. Quakers are very clear that the revelation of God's truth did not end with the writing of the Bible. We believe that God has continued to reveal God's truth and make God's will and God's energy, truth, known to humankind down through the ages, down to the present day. Quakers welcome truth from whatever source it may come. We find that our experience of worship and our experience of the divine is enriched by welcoming truth from different sources, uh, welcoming spiritual truth from different sources. Our inward experience of God transforms us and leads us into outward expressions of faithful living, witness, and action. 
individually and collectively, we witness to God's presence in our lives by the way we live our lives and the way we model uh, God's truth in the world. One of the consequences of being of listening for the inward voice and being led into outward expressions uh, of, of faithful living and witness and action are Quaker testimonies. Testimonies that are well known today are testimonies of simplicity and peace and integrity, uh, community, equality, and stewardship. Modeling God's presence in our lives is more important than espousing beliefs. Quakers believe that the way we live our lives um, is um, of, of much more importance than what we say. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's an old Quaker expression, let your life speak. And that's very much a part of Quakerism. Uh, the, 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 the understanding that um, the, the way we, we model God's truth in our lives is to let our lives speak it. I'm here at Friends Center in Center City, Philadelphia. It's the building that hosts, among other things, the Central Philadelphia Monthly Meeting. Just wanted to say thank you for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday, and you can subscribe to the project by clicking this button over here. You can support the project for as little as $1 per video. That button is just below me. You can see all the videos we've ever released down here. Thanks again for watching, and have a great Thursday.